assalamu alaikum students today we are going to do exercise number 3 of the chapter sharp dil latif bithai okay what do we have to do in exercise number 3 uh, we have to use the bold words that are given in exercise number 2 which we have already covered in our previous uh, video and we have to use those words and in order to fill the gaps that are given in exercise number 3 okay i will read the question that is that says that the complete exercise is below by using the words written in bold in exercise number 2 So let's begin. The first one is the dash of Shah Abdul Latif Bithai celebrate his Urs every year. So the word that goes with this one, with number one, is devotees. So the answer will be the devotees of Shah Bithai celebrate his Urs every year. Next is my mother and I decided to go to a dash to ask him to pray for my father's health. So which bold word will go over here? A mystic. Okay. So it would be my mother and I decided to go to a mystic to ask him to pray for my father's health. The third is it is a dash fact that no living thing can survive without oxygen. Which word will come over here? The one in the bold. That is the universal fact. Okay. Now moving on to number four, which says that much of what we know about our culture has been passed through. Uh, to us through dash through oral medium so the answer number 4 is oral medium let's read it uh, with the correct answer much of what we know about our culture has been passed through to us through oral medium now moving on to number 5 The question says that we may have different dash, but we are all the offspring of springs of Adam. So, what will come? Which bold word will come over here? We may have different ancestral root, but we are all the offsprings of Adam. Okay, now moving on to number six. Fasting dash in the month of Ramadan. So, what? Which word will go over here? Commences. We have done the meanings of these words in exercise number two. So, according to the with the help of the meanings, we are figuring out that which word will best be suitable in these gaps. So, let's read it, this sixth one again. Fasting commences in the month of Ramadan. Next, six. Pakistan has everything in dash, but we need strong policies to make good use of everything we have. So, Pakistan has everything in abundance. has everything in abundance but we need strong policies to make good use of everything we have okay number okay number 8 let's read the sentence number 8 nelson mandela won his people's dash for his long struggle for the rights of people in south asia so which word will be best suitable here it's the word reverence let's read the sentence again by using this word Nelson Mandela won his people's reverence for his long struggle for the rights of people in South Asia. Moving on to number 9. The art of dash requires hard work and one needs to practice a lot to write beautifully. Okay? What do you need to if you want to uh, you know achieve something dramatically what is the art of uh, how would you acquire that? That is the art of restlessness. It means you have to work tirelessly in order to gain something so we'll say that the art of restlessness requires hard work and one needs to practice a lot to write beautifully moving on to number 10 which says that the pakistan navy has very good dash skills which skills obviously they're talking about navy so they have their navigation skills So we have read all these words in exercise number two, and we have used these words in exercise number three, the bold words. In exercise two, what? In exercise number two, what did we do? We actually found out the meanings of these word. We marked the uh, meanings, and in exercise number three, we are using the bold words in order to figure out. In this way, you know, in uh, while if you look at exercise number three, the meanings of these word will be more clearer to you now. So in this way, you figure it out that how these words can be used. differently as well so this was all about exercise number 3 now we'll move on in the next video we'll move on to exercise number 4 thank you